let's first take a look at the skeletal muscle tissue. As we can see, skeletal muscles, also known as striated muscle or voluntary muscle. The reason why it's striated is because it looks striated under a microscope. What we see are alternating bands of light and dark. This alternating bands are caused by the contractile elements, the actin and myosin, which we will look at before this video is over. And that is what's going to cause this light and dark looking to the striated muscle tissue. It's also considered voluntary muscle tissue because for the most part it's under a voluntary control. Now, there is some involuntary control. So for example, when you're sleeping at night, there are some muscle contractions, which gives us the tone to the muscle but voluntary muscle, striated skeletal muscle. We also see that it contributes about 40 to 50 percent of the adult male weight and about 30 to 40 percent of the adult female weight. Life really isn't fair and uh, men typically have more muscle mass than females. Women typically have more fat mass than males. Sorry ladies. Let's keep going here before I get myself into further trouble. We also have the fact that muscle fibers, skeletal muscles, are made of long thread-like cells known as muscle fibers. Muscle fibers are long, cylindrical, they have lots of nuclei. Again, they have the striations and like we said earlier, they're made of actin and myosin. The actin is the thin filament while the myosin is considered the thick filament. Each thick filament is going to be surrounded by six of the thin filaments. We are going to talk about the sliding film, uh, filament theory, but just for now realize that the muscles contract by the interactions between the thick filaments and these thin filaments. When muscles contract, the actin and myosin slide past each other. As you can see in this picture right there, we are taking this big muscle right here, the biceps brachii, we are expanding it out and then we're pulling out a smaller branch of the muscle. This fascia, which we will look at in further detail later on in the muscular system lessons, is a connective tissue that wraps the muscles. It wraps them very closely together. It wraps them in a bunch and wraps them in a big bunch. We'll, like I said, we'll talk about that in more detail later. And then we have the muscle fiber right there. We're going to take a closer look at that muscle fiber. That muscle fiber is the myofibrils. Myo means muscle, okay? Myo and muscle. The filaments are arranged into sarcomeres. The sarcomeres have very specific components that we need to be aware of. What we need to do is we need to create a sarcomere. We need to write out a sarcomere. We need to draw a sarcomere. This is on every anatomy test I've ever seen that covers muscle tissue. Now, here's my advice that I give to my face-to-face -face students and that I'm going to give to you. If you've ever hooked up a television, if you've ever hooked up a surround sound or a speaker system or a computer, you know that when you're done, it is a, a, just a tangle of wires. And if you start with that tangle in mind, you'll never get it connected together. You have to start piece by piece. And so we're going to go piece by piece putting this drawing together. First, we have the A-band. The A-band goes from this one end of the thick to the other end of the thick. Notice that it gets some of this thin filament. It's going to pick up some of the thin filaments right here. Okay? So the A-band extends from one end of the thick filament to the other end of the thick filament and picks up some thin filament along the way. The next portion is the H zone. The H zone is going to pick up only the thick filament. It doesn't like thin, it avoids thin, it is into thick filaments and thick filaments only. The H zone is inside the A band. While the A band will pick up thick and thin, the H zone, no, 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 no thin, only thick. That is what I like, that is what they want. That's it. Let's move on. I've just offended my entire French audience out there. The M line goes right through the middle. Okay, it goes right through the middle of the H zone. It's going to go straight down the middle. Moving on, we have the I band. 
the I band is going to contain the rest of the thin filament, but no thick filament. If we look at the picture, we can see that it's a little bit too far up, but we can see that the I band starts here and is going to cross over to the one next to it and just pick up all of the thin. It doesn't want the thick at all. And our last component is going to be the Z disc. The Z disc were actually those posts from early on in the slide. Those are where the sarcomere begins and ends. The Z to Z is a sarcomere. So let's put one of these actually together by using step-by-step -step instructions. We're gonna draw this together. The first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do, let me pull up the pen here, is draw the goal posts. I'm taking this very simple. So we're drawing out the goal posts. And then we're drawing in some thick. So we're good so far. We put some little thick on the side. There we go. We haven't seen the whole thing. We have some thick hanging around the edges. Then the first thing we're gonna do, if you remember, is gonna be the A-band. Remember that the A-band extends from one end of the thick to the other. It doesn't care if it picks up some additional things. So let me switch my color to orange here. And dashes all the way down. And this is going to be the A-band. What comes next? The H stone. Let me switch colors over here so we can see a different color. Let's go, ooh, green, that'll be nice. And remember, this one doesn't pick up any of the thin. And this is gonna be our H zone. So we have our A band and we have our H zone. Again, this is not very complicated as of right now. We're doing it piece by piece. Remember, we have something that goes right through the middle of this whole thing. So right through the middle, plonk, through this whole thing is the M1. And that's gonna cut through the middle. Then we also have to have something that doesn't like any of the thick filaments. Doesn't like it, doesn't want any part of it. Okay. And that's going to, kind of right there too. And that is going to be our I band. Now, for a second, take a look at the letter I, okay? The letter I. The letter I is pretty thin, okay? That letter I is pretty thin. Thin only, thin only. Look at the I, it's all thin, thin only, okay? Then our last component that we need to be aware of is, let's go with a bright yellow, don't know how that's gonna show up, are these things, these big lines that we started off with, okay? Those lines right there. Those lines, if you remember, what were they called? They were called the Z discs. And that's how we draw our sarcomere. It's not pretty, but it's functional. And that should be all you need to be able to draw for your exam. The last component that this whole thing ties into and the last part on this video we're gonna talk about is the sliding filament mechanism. This is how this all ties together. This is the idea of how these things contract. The myosin and actin are the contractile pro proteins of muscle. They are proteins they contract. During contraction of muscle, the myosin and the thick filaments pull the thin filaments, the actin, together. So the thick filaments are like the sumo wrestlers, and they will grab the thin, and they'll say, come over here. That's kind of from a video game, I think, there. And it will pull the thin in, because the thick, the thick don't move, okay? Imagine a fifth grader trying to pull me somewhere. I'm not going nowhere, all right? So the thin filaments get pulled in by the thick it's going to close the H zone. During contraction, the width of the light band will decrease 
the width of the dark band does not change. Myosin molecules have heads. These heads will clamp down and pull it in. That's how we get these contractions. We're going to continue our look with skeletal muscle in our next video.